UFC middleweight and Jiu-Jitsu brown belt under Travis Luter, Kevin Holland. Woo! That was an intense one right there. The last two in that 135. Great matches, man. And it came down to the wire. Really did. Rafael, I'm happy you shooed that loser, Kurt Shrout, out of the table. <laughs> He's really making things kind of awkward. How you feeling, Kyle? How's I'm that feeling, one? I'm feeling good, brother. I'm feeling good. <laughs> and I just, Kevin, I kid, I kid, I give shit to my boy, Kurt Shrout, who was just on the Human Optimization Hour podcast with us, obviously. Oh, nice. Rafael Lovato Jr., a phenomenal guest. A shitload of downloads, brother. Oh, yeah? Much appreciated, my awesome. man. Awesome. Yeah, yep. we had fun. That yeah. was great. Fuck yeah, man. Interesting story. So definitely glad to have you on. We'll have to have yeah, you back after you become here. champion. Yes, let's do it. You let's know it. it. Elliot Marshall in the house after his victory. He's going to come back to my place later moving, for Cordyceps, oh, Sinesis, Kevin Mushrooms, Kevin in Troop Tech Sport, the and the UFC match. fights tonight. Uh, of course, I have Brian like Ortega. Not a shit ton of money, but a couple hundred bucks on him. All right, and here's a new development, guys. Yeah, Kevin. I got Ortega. Don't shake your whoa, head, Elliot Marshall, just because here? you know about, more about jiu-jitsu and MMA than I do. Don't I, say that. I got Ortega, too, but hey. He's but riding I, the high of victory. I got Brian Ortega. Me, too. I think he's going to grab that neck in the second round. But as for this match right here, uh -oh. Kyle Hame. I, Hame thought, I thought Kevin was going to be in this mood. Kevin actually is injured and had to forfeit for this round. Oh. So his opponent, yeah. Alec Huben. And I think, I think to his credit... In. Uh, his manager pulled the plug for him because he fights in the UFC and they didn't want to take any risks. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, out of competition, it's still a competition, but out of competition, meaning out of the UFC fight, you don't want to get injured. Yeah, for the insurance any reason. doesn't cover it, does it? It certainly doesn't, but aside from the insurance, uh, the brass at the UFC is not very lenient on things like this. So I think hmm. um, that was a smart call. Interesting. Yeah, Knowing absolutely. the powers that be, but we're changing it right now with the class action lawsuit. So fuck <laughs> you, Dana White. You know, I don't know. Like, talk about the Ali you, Act, right? You can right? get hurt so yes, easy yeah. in training. You know, I don't know. Like, it's just grappling. Oh, looks like we're going for a toe hold here. He's doing a real good job booting, defending that. I think. Uh, as long as you don't have a fight inside of a month, it's not th that big of a deal. Right. Thing is, I guess uh, Kevin Holland, I mean, he came in against Tiago freaking Santos on like a week and a half's notice. Uh, so I guess he's pretty game for whatever open fights he can get. So I understand. Put on a great show tonight. I think it helps because, you know, it's more experience. They can work another element of the game, you know, uh, learn get better and then be that much better of a fighter the next time they're in the UFC. You Abs know? Absolutely. I'm not against it. I just had a grappling match last week, and my title fight's in a couple months. I like to stay active. You yeah. know, I think it makes us better. Absolutely. Not to mention, I mean, I know it's, uh, you know, it's far from the bright lights of the forum in, you know, L.A., but, I mean, still being in front of that huge setting of an audience. Yeah, it's adrenaline. Uh, yeah. The walkout, everything about yes. it. Yes. Oh. Man, he's, Kyle. He's been going from one leg lock to the next. Kyle Bame actually himself is a 3 0 amateur MMA fighter, uh, former professional rock climber, so imagine those Ooh, grips. Jesus. Yeah. Round two of tonight's 205 pound tournament is brought to you by Gold Nugget Ghee. Athletes and VIP guests here tonight will get to enjoy Gold Nugget Ghee butter. Kyle, do you cook with ghee whatsoever? You know, I've used ghee in the past, but between uh, Vital Farms, Austin-based company, who makes a great grass-fed butter, mm -hmm. and also some pretty phenomenal free-range eggs. I eat those eggs all the time, man. You know, I'd rather go local. And I heard there's a class action law, speaking of class action lawsuits, I heard there's one against Kerrygold for not using grass-fed butter in Ireland. That is crazy. I think crazy. they green-finished, uh, or maybe it was an antibiotic issue. I, I'd, I'd heard about that, actually. That's pretty crazy. Unacceptable. Get your antibiotics out of my fucking butter. Man, and Kurt knows about that. He's had cancer. <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> Bain. Kyle, Kyle Bain. Kyle Bain wins it. Punches his ticket 